Very interesting. Till yesterday, Mamta Banerjee had stayed out of this entire issue. Today, she has come out in Rahul Gandhi's support. Are we seeing the Trinamool Congress realizing that today it's Rahul Gandhi, tomorrow it could be someone else? Or is this a very calibrated support for Rahul Gandhi? Rajdeep, we are crystal clear and we have consistently maintained mm -hmm. that all central agencies are being abused and misused to silence the opposition. You have seen the last eight or nine days in parliament, there is absolutely no debate and it is absolutely blasphemous that the ministers of a sitting government are not letting the parliament function. How many times has the opposition been suspended? But there is absolutely no action, no steps been taken to let the parliament function. And the one single reason for it is the Adani scam, which exceeds 1 lakh crores. Now coming to Mamta Banerjee's tweet, in which she has categorically said what she has been saying since 2021, that central agencies are being misused to target opposition and it is a matter of record. This is not what I am saying or TMC is saying. More than 95% of the people who are being prosecuted by central agencies come from opposition parties. No, no, but, but till the like, other day, Sushmita yeah. Dev, is Mamta Banerjee therefore offering support to Rahul Gandhi on a day that he's been disqualified? Or is this going to be the start of a new relationship? That's what I'm asking. Rajdeep, let me tell you something. There has been absolutely no change in the stance of Mamta Banerjee, Honorable Chief Minister of West Bengal, when she has said that Modi government and the BJP has misused and continues to misuse agencies against the opposition. Mm -hmm. There's been no change in our stance. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why you're raising a new question. It's not about Rahul Gandhi. It is about Rahul Gandhi and every other opposition leader who's been targeted. And you have numerous examples of Hemant Vishwa Sharma, Narayan Rane, Yaddu Rappa, mm -hmm. Shiv Sena, all of them who have joined the BJP and walked away scot free. Yeah, yeah, what is it, new about what Mamta Banerjee said? Okay, She's but it seems to me that... Okay, it seems to me uh, though that suddenly the opposition is realizing that self-preservation means we have to come together. Am I correct to, uh, to say that, Reena Gupta? Because Aam Aadmi Party also now after Manish Sisodia was arrested, has now reached out and says that they too are, you know, you all have formed a legal coalition, 14 parties have gone today to the Supreme Court saying PMLA is being misused, Congress are coming together. Is this a limited uh, uh, alliance of convenience? Razib, we as Indians have the collective misfortune of being ruled by the most corrupt and most uneducated Prime Minister in the history of our country. This is a prime minister that is scared. The only way he knows how to function is, pu is to put everybody behind bars. You saw two days ago that poor people who had put out posters in Delhi, 140 FIRs were filed against those poor people in Delhi. This is what the Britishers used to do. So this fight is bigger than Rahul Gandhi. This fight is to save the democracy of this country. This fight is to save the idea of India. No, but you've suddenly woken up to all India. of this, Reena Gupta. I didn't hear these harsh words against Prime Minister Modi from Aam Aadmi Party. Suddenly, post Mani Sisodia, you're finding everything wrong with Prime Minister Modi. And I think Rajiv, it's avoidable to use speaking, this kind of language, isn't it? We have been saying all of these things for a really long time. And you saw that the bigger issue is actually the Adani scam. And all of this is around Rahul Gandhi and what he said in Oxford, these are all diversion tactics. The real issue is that the, uh, the Prime Minister does not want to answer any questions on Adani. He does not want to set a JPC. He is not allowing the parliament to function. Mm -hmm. You saw how opposition leaders were not allowed to speak in the parliament. Mm -hmm. These are all signs of fascism. And this is a fight where we have to move beyond party lines. 140 crore Indians have to come together. It's and we have to make it's sure... Interesting. It's interesting you're saying that you have to move beyond party lines.